Hello, hello Capricorn, how are you? So let's have a look here Capricorn at your uh, at your reading. This is the message from the universe, messages from spirit, messages from the divine, okay. Uh, so I don't know what's going to come in here, so let, let's pull up some cards and see what comes in here for Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn. I do get some game is finished here. There was a game and uh, it made somebody feel powerful. Now that may be you or it may be somebody else, but um, it's kind of, it's over, you know, this the fun is over, you know, it's not funny. I'm getting here that this is, this is not funny anymore. Um, uh, it's it's not funny anymore. It's um, I didn't even feel it was funny anyway. Um, yeah, I get Capricorn. Oh, this could be another Earth sign. So I get the King here of oh, Pentacles is a Capricorn. That could be you here. You could be a man here. If you're cross watching this this man here. I've got this energy of this Capricorn, this Earth sign. They're now suffering. If this is not an Earth sign, it's somebody with Earth in their chart. Then somebody here is. This could be you, or this could be uh, somebody else here. Um, they have lots of anxieties. You see, when this person feels in control, when they are playing this dance here, when they are playing this game. It makes them feel in control. It regulates them. But this game is just going around hurting people, playing with people's lives, you know. But it makes it regulates them. It's a bit strange. I find this very odd to try to understand. It, it helps them feel like they're powerful. It fills a artificial void in a way. It's like they're saying to themselves, well, you know, this is how this makes me feel like I am in control here. But it's, the root of this is, is acute anxiety. Without this, without this game, without this ruthless game or this, this game here, this person feels like they don't know where they're going. They, they feel like they're, they, they have no purpose. Isn't that sad? <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't see it as anything. Uh, well, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to um, juggle you in this way. Uh, but I did get somebody who was juggling you uh became it was a game but then it became um that they were torn in two and this created this divide this made them feel powerful but it, it uh, towards the end of it the damage that it caused i feel this person was torn in two in uh not wanting to keep this going um this, you know, this is not a game anymore. This is not nice. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not right. Uh, I'm not saying that this person has morals. I don't feel this person has got any morals, to be honest with you, or integrity. They're lacking in empathy as well. Whoever this is, when they came, when you got to know the game, when you realized the game and you saw it, and you didn't quite understand why. This was regulating them. Does that sound what this was actually regulating them in a very bizarre kind of twisted way? It made them feel powerful and regulate. It's, it's difficult to interpret as a normal person. It's it's really difficult to get wrap your head around. 
somebody playing this game to feel more powerful. This person could not cope with the lies and the deceit. They couldn't cope with the fact that you're going to find out about this one day. Um, they were juggling this. Um, and that's what they could not cope with, is that you're going to find out about this. And then, you know, this game is going to be over. And I get these really strong anxieties of like, yeah, it felt felt like a game. It felt like fun. And it, it, it took another twist here. And I felt great when it was playful. But now it's... Now I'm desperate not for you to find out about this, whatever this is. If you found out about this, They know that they, they've destroyed, it's very selfish. Now I did pick up on, on like a, a narcissist or someone with a disorder here. Now whether this is a disorder or not, if you're playing mind games or games with people's hearts and you don't give a damn, why are you doing this? Only that it makes you feel good and it makes you feel powerful that, you know, I, I am so elite that I can do this. I am so above you that I I have, you know, this ability to do this. You can't even work this out. Look at you. You're so, you know, a normal person, a normal, functioning, mentally stable person would never do this in a million years because they don't have to regulate themselves in that way. That's why they don't get it. That's why they find this a bit, you know, when they do find out, they see this as a huge betrayal. But this person sees this as, as just a game. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to do this. You see, that's, that's someone talking who has a disordered mind, you know. A normal person would know the consequences of, of, of doing this. They would know that this would be devastatingly a huge, massive betrayal. Yeah, this person was really scared and frightened because they knew that you were going to feel this way, that your whole world would come crashing down, or that's what they feel. But I, I do get either you or if you're cross-watching here, uh, whoever this I'm, I'm reaching out to here, you can see this for what it is. You're thinking this person's totally, totally messed up. They've got massive issues and they have no idea how to conduct a relationship or a connection. They betray people who care about them just because they want to feel like they're entitled and they have the power. And I think you realise this already. I think you know this. This person will deny it. In fact, this person would actually get very angry if you confronted this with them. They want to, they want to appear like you, which is normal. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I, I am talking about someone here with who has no moral co compass, who has no um, um, empathy, who just looks at, out for themselves. Whether you know whether they're going to um, lose the best thing that ever happened to them, they will cross lines, boundaries without even giving it a second thought, you know, this person's quite, I'm getting, well, this is quite evil. Never mind it being a disordered mind. This, this is, uh, this is, let's, let's call it evil. And this person knows it's evil, but they don't care. You see, they have this lack of empathy, which makes them more psychopathic. And it's like, I don't care. 
I don't care that I'm doing this. I don't care. And that's their, that's their mantra, which makes them evil. This was over a long time ago, the death card. This was over a long time ago. This person's been doing this for a long time. It's not new. And, um, and the people, they're so frightened of these people around them. Oh, this person is the best person that's ever happened to me. I, I don't want this person to find out what I'm really like, what my true self is like. Uh, I don't want them. I want, I want to be normal like that person. I, I, I know I, I'm so scared that you're going to find out. You know, when you when you're in a situation like this, this is a big red flag that this person has mental health issues. You know, when they're scared that you are going to abandon them because of their behaviour, which is a quite quite destructive behaviour, is is Let's underline that. Let's underline it right now and say, well, that's a mental health issue. Nobody normal would do that. Anybody normal would have integrity, would respect the person that cares for them, would show them respect, would never dream of crossing that line, would, uh, would sit down and talk about any issues. And, you know, this is just complete utter madness. You know, it's absolute madness. And I feel this is this person now is running scared because they they it's like they they're on the edge that you are actually going to find out about this and I feel some I get an energy here somebody in the background they should know you know I I feel I feel I should tell them I feel like I have you know it's not fair that that person is being played like this or um you know I know that I'm. You know, I know that I shouldn't, but I, I feel that person has the right to to know. You know, right? Let's let's find out who this person is. Who's this person? Who is this person that's going to step forward here and let this person, whether you it's you or whether this is Capricorn, um, who is going to step forward here? Yeah, I get. I get a fear that this person will say something. Um, don't you feel they have a right to know what you've done? Um, do you feel that you should speak to something here? Let's have a look. Um, it would be awful if they found out and they, yeah. Um, I feel this is um, at work. I feel it's somebody they confide in, uh, confided in at work, and what they've done is they they may have even treated them like uh, part of the game, and um, they've um, now it's somebody else that they're looking at to play the game with against this other person that they, you know, so they're playing the game with them, um, what they were playing with you with them, like a triangulation game. So um, they're full of games. It's full of games and it's a mental health issue. This person can see it in front of their eyes, this game now, and they're thinking, wow, all the BS you told me and, and you was doing this all the time. I think I need to, I, I think I need to say something here. This person needs to know what you're, you're, what you're like, what you're doing. Um, there may be issues at work too, because that this person is playing this game in the workplace. Um, you may have even met this person at work, and this is where they, this is where they get the, you know, their victims from. Um, your gut feeling here, I'm getting your gut feeling, you know this has been going on 
but you, you've not been, this has not been told to you, it's not been clarified to you, um, but your gut feeling here is telling you that you'd rather be alone, the hermit card, than out, have to put up with this mindless, evil game. This person's evil. Um, this could also be the other person is now alone because they, this other person's worked out that they're playing this game, uh, this game of chess here with people. Yeah, that person played that game on me. And now they're doing it to somebody else and it's like they're playing that against me now. And and uh, they've even dropped them. They've left. They're not going to put up with it. They're saying, I can see what you've done here. What you're doing. It's actually quite embarrassing because I feel that these these females actually, um, all males actually do take this as like this person likes me a lot, and you know they're victims as well. And it's like this person is falling in love with me, and um, it's really lovely. They're such a lovely person, and and you know I it's like they're saying to themselves, I just dated so much rubbish that this is like a breath of fresh air. Now, this other person who's playing this game knows this. They've listened to them saying, you know, I, every, everyone I've dated has been this, that, the other, a cheater, or um, I don't trust anyone. And, and they, they've seen it. They chose them for that reason. Or somebody desperately looking for love and is being starved of love in their marriage. Um. Yeah, I look at if the, if you're with somebody like this, um, you don't need to have anybody come to you and say, "I need to be honest with you." Um, your long-term partner or your husband actually said this to me and uh, did this and said all these things about you. I believed it and um, and now I feel really bad because they're now doing it with me kind of thing. Um, somebody, I feel somebody's going to, yeah, because that person has not, that, that person's walked away from them too. So this person's alone now, um, and I get the Four of, of Swords. They felt with the Procrastination card here. Procrastination card is, well, that didn't work, did it? Yeah, I get that. Um, and now they're alone, and they don't like being alone. You know, it was like if that person leaves me I've got that person to fall back on and if that person leaves me I've got that person to fall back on that kind of energy I don't know who I am uh, reaching out to here but um, this person over, over maybe taking drugs that you didn't know about um, they may be self-medicating here they may be drinking alcohol um Yeah, so I do get that. And I do get you. Um, you're too preoccupied with your own life right now, and I do get that. You're too preoccupied with your own life, um, building foundations, building a strong, firm, solid, stable foundations away from this madness. And you're too too preoccupied with that. Or this could be this person escapes their own feelings through uh, oblivion by uh, fantasy and also they escape themselves 
through this uh, drug taking or drinking. Uh, they escape their feelings here in the workplace too. So there's a mixture here. Uh, that could also be doing that to look popular in the workplace. It's like a, it's like a school playground. It's like I'm going to be the most popular guy here. I'm going to be the most popular work person, and um, and it's all to do with looking the best, trying to get the best position, trying to. Um, you know, be idled and looked up to and, you know, I, I wish I could meet somebody like that kind of thing when they're married and and they're not like this really. Um why can't I meet somebody like I wish I I wish I could meet somebody like you. I get that too. I wish my my partner was more like you. I wish my my husband was more like you. If only you know, if only I could have my husband, but also could have you, which would be so fulfilling for me, because then I'd be, you know, you know, the missing pieces would be put back into my life. This person also works on that too. They know that that people can get into a marriage. They've been in a marriage for years, and you know, things get a bit stale. And this person is. As, as really, um, you know, really studied, really studies this, you know, their targets here. So uh, what, what am I trying to say here is, uh, I don't know, but this is the energies I'm getting through here. Either you're the one, you're the Capricorn that's frightened to death of, being sussed out here and found out. which I think you're on the edge of. People are starting to see it. Or you're the person that, that actually is going to find out that this has been going on behind the scenes. I do get a female. I don't know uh, whether this female will be strong enough to say, look, I, I apologise. I, I just want to talk to you and let you know what's going on here. I didn't believe this at first, but I do now kind of thing. This person is really betraying you and also betrayed me too. And it's doing the same to me. Is that their karma? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if... If, if you know, uh, I feel they're a victim as well as you. This person was studied really well. Same as you were, actually. The same as you were. Um, so it's difficult. Sorry about that. It's difficult to to understand why why this person. It like I say, it's difficult for for a normal person for a normal functioning person it's difficult to wrap your head around why would somebody need to do this to feel regulated and feel like they matter they're important you know that that screams out to me mental health issues um and and so um you know so deep in this but uh, they don't even think, they're not even think this, well, they're so desperate to feel regulated and feel worthy that they're doing this. And they don't, they don't care about the people around them that they're affecting. Um, 
And yeah, it's just that I feel that's all it is. All it is. It's a big thing, really. Um, I get the home card, so. This per that person has a pattern of slandering. I, th I just get pure evil, really. I I'm sorry, but I do. Um, and I get the snake card here. This person's a snake. I think you've met you've you've met. Unfortunately, whoever I'm reaching out to, you met a snake. And this is saying swiftly cut this off and don't look back. Um, you may be looking back at this. Um, gossip again, slander, gossip. They, 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 they're a gossip. They're, they're an absolute bitch. If it's a man, they're a bitch of a man, you know. Um, they gossip and, and they, they lie and, um, and they do it all to get attention. It makes them feel happy with the sun card to do this, to betray you. It makes them feel happy. They get the attention that they decide uh, de that they desire. And I get the the dog card is um, loyalty, and it's in reverse. They've never this person's not loyal. What I can say here is they're not loyal. They've never been loyal. They never will be loyal. Although they would like to, they'd like to live a normal life where they don't have to do this to feel complete. And I get this person is very immature. They're like a child in a sweet shop looking at the sweets in a sweet shop. They see it. They see this this as very in a, through a child's not an innocent child's mind. They've done this for years. If somebody researched this, they've been doing this for years. I get the book here, the history book. Um, their social circle know about this. Uh, well, I think I feel they want to come back and solve this problem with you. They want to come back. There's an opportunity here to. I feel they that you may you may answer a call, you may answer a, a message, um, and they see that as an opportunity here to resolve resolve what resolve that they have issues with relationships. If somebody came to, I remember when um, I was living out in Greece and there was this guy who had, a, everybody knew in the whole village, in the town, that this person had issues, you know, issues, had a different female, you know, kind of um, holiday maker, different holiday maker every week promising the moon and the stars and um and he he'd actually got himself a reputation nobody nobody local nobody who lived there would would touch them with a barge ball and um and i remember i remember somebody saying to me oh my god that guy uh, actually, it was a, it was a male who said it to me. This guy had a, a big yacht too. He had a yacht. I, I didn't know. I didn't want to know. I don't want to know somebody like that. He says, oh, that guy has got so many issues with relationships. Um, it's sad. That's what I said. Another guy said that. It's so sad. Um. And this could be similar to that. This person is getting a reputation um, 
is starting to get a reputation. And it's a mess, basically. So it's a complete, utter mess. So whoever I'm reaching out to here, um, it may it may not resonate with you. Um, it's odd. I, I, yeah, I, I just think, don't think any more than this, this person's got issues. Like I said about the guy in... On the Greek island, there is just a, a guy who's got issues. Just, just see it like that guy's got issues. Doesn't know who they want to be with. Doesn't can't can't sustain a, a relationship. Doesn't know how to have a relationship. He's got huge issues. So um, let's pull out some more cards here for Capricorn. This could be you that's got the issues. And that you're starting to get, um, you know, I'm, I don't know, I may be reaching out to someone who's got issues that needs to look at their issues and maybe go and get therapy or something. Um, because this is a complete mess. Uh, so, this person feels just uh, so misunderstood. You know, I, I'm a good person, really. I've just got a very dark side to me. Wow. Um, this person's going to contact you, okay. Um, somebody, I feel that they've done this to somebody else and they've not, they've not, they, they've, they've seen it and... Um, they want to just be the star of the show. It, this is in the workplace. They want to be, you know, that good-looking guy, that star of the show that everybody's chasing. Um, and I, I just feel maybe one or two of these people are thinking, wow, I, you've got issues, mate. You know, you, you, you're crazy. Um, you're not that good. You're not, not that great. Uh, so... Yeah, this person love bombs people. And then they create a mountain to climb. Like they they make it hard work and they, they, they like to be chased. But this this has been going on a while. They like that feeling of being chased, being the star of the show. This person, and this is just abuse, it's just, uh, you know, it's predatory, it's abuse. And, um, and I feel this is what people are starting to see is um, that trying to sweep this under the carpet. Me being like that, no, you've got that wrong. Um, this person sees you having some good luck coming in. Uh, the, the, again, they've been studying you. They've been studying you. This person could have been stealing your, stealing your identity, um, using your identity to lure other people in. I get here to uh, the four-leaf clover. The four-leaf clover is, this is very complex. This um, really, you really should run a mile from this. This person, like, go with the guy in the Greek islands. That, I just said, that guy's got issues. Complete, you know, freak. Um, there is there is an email that, that this person's been studying you, that they're seeing you as getting some good luck. You're looking good. You're looking like, and they thought, you know what? I'm going to take a risk here and try try my luck with the dice. You know, I'm going to throw the dice, and I'm going to take make take a, a, a risk here and contact that person. But this is saying this person, if if they do return and they do contact you, there's a reason. Okay. Um, they're not the star of the show anymore. 
I go, look, look a bit closer at this, you know, with the magnifying glass. Just look at a little bit closer to this person that's on their way back to you for some of you. Um, and you're starting to say, well, why are you coming back now? This is odd. Why now? Um, and I think this is how you should be candid. You should be blunt like that. And just ask, why now? Why did you do those things? And why did you do that? And why now? Um, at least I can try to reach out to somebody here. Um, this is very, very low vibrational, by the way. It's not at all intelligent. It's very low vibration. I think this, if you can view it like that, low vibrational, person's got huge issues, they possibly got a mental health issue, they've got loads and loads of issues to wade through before they even get normal. You know what? I'm going to give this. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to pass go here, and I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to look back. Um, I think they like your empathy. Yeah, it's like I, I like the way that that person, um, you know, was so lovely. Even when I was sneaking around behind that person's back, I came back and it was just so lovely to me. That kind of thing. And, and the next card, I'm going to call this the last card i don't know who i'm trying to reach out to here it says be grounded you know this this female is under the ground she is so grounded thinking with her head and listen listen to what's going on around you listen to your um you know to your gut feeling listen 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 why now why are you doing this now Why are you doing this now? I'm going to leave it there. Um, shuffle with one more card here. Um, I get this card here is three females. So there could be three females involved here. And I get the throne card here. And who's going to sit on the throne? Who's going to be this person's partner? Who is going to be the queen of this person's life? And, you know, some of these females are not even attractive. Um, it's just anybody. And they're just playing this game of feeling, you know, regulating themselves to feel powerful. Keep this warning, whoever this is. Um... Don't feel guilty about this. Um, this person will probably come up with sub stories. You know, this happened. That's why I, I, you know, I, I was so confused and blah, blah, blah. Um, now I do get this, this, the castle here and the castle is, you know, it's time to heal that war. I feel don't go to war with this person. Just think about your healing and move forward. Okay, don't get, don't go to war anymore. It is what it is. Start looking after yourself and heal yourself here. It is what it is. It's, it's, it's a bit sad, really. Can I leave it there? Okay, uh, Capricorn, could be you who's playing this game, or it could be someone around you, or you could be cross-watching, okay? Whoever I'm reaching out to here. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, this is for August, okay? Um, and, um, wow. <laughs> uh, you take care, and uh, I will speak to you soon, okay? Bye for now, bye-bye.